hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm going to be teaching you guys and showing you how i clean and disinfect my nail implements for use on my clients i'm also going to be showing you how i deal with them after i've cleaned them so that they can remain clean and sterile prior to my appointments and up till i decide to take them out and use them on my clients please click that subscribe button click the like button and comment down any questions you have below click the notification bell so you never miss a video and i hope this video is very informative for you guys so here i'm just showing you guys the tools i have i have several nail clippers both curved and straight edged i have several cuticle pushers one um cuticle nipper um some drill bits and a tweezer and so guys the first thing that i'm doing is i'm emptying all my nail implements into the sink making sure that the drainage hole is closed so that no drill bits and tiny implements can go down the drain and then once i've done that i'm just going to fill the sink with um, warm water and make sure you have some towels on deck and then i'm just going to use my antibacterial soap and fill the sink with that and then i'm just going to pump a few pumps to make sure that it's nice and you know sudsy and make sure that there's some bubbles i should have done this prior to putting water in but guys oh well you know you do what you gotta do okay so that's what i'm doing and i'm just gonna keep adding more until i feel that it's sufficient i like to let my um implements sit in warm water and soap for like a few minutes before i go in and use um some of that same antibacterial soap on my nail brush and i'll just pump a few pumps on there and then use that to scrub the implements individually so that's what i'm doing now and i'm gonna go through and scrub every single one of them and place them in that same container that i did before so for an implement to be considered as properly clean um, it must be first scrubbed of all debris and obviously all dirt that is visible for example on my nail implements there's quite a lot of dust on my cuticle pushes sometimes there's the excess like cuticle that i've scraped off the nail plate that is still remaining on the cuticle pusher and what i'm doing now is basically just scrubbing it off and that's the first step that you do when you want to disinfect your tools you scrub off all visible signs of just debris and residue and then after that that's when you'll go with the proper disinfecting um, procedure. Nail implements that you can disinfect are metal nail implements such as cuticle pushers, um, cuticle nippers, nail clippers, basically all the things that I'm disinfecting in the video can be disinfected and sanitized whereas single use items such as nail files, buffers, sanding bands cannot be disinfected so those after one use you throw them in the bin and that's why in um, my nail equipment I have many files, many um, buffers and many sanding bands so I can use one per client and throw them away just to be sanitary and clean.
so once I have scrubbed all the implements clean and removed all the debris and dirt from them I will then go ahead rinse them with that same warm water and then I will place them in that container lined with a, a paper towel and then um, get them ready for the next step which would be disinfection So now I go ahead and pat the implements dry using a paper towel and here I show you the um, container that I use to immerse my tools in the disinfection solution. I'll just go ahead dry them and put all the implements in that container at the top which is removable. There are many different like containers you can get to immerse your implements in the water. Um, I prefer not to use the glass one just in case it like drops off the table and smashes or whatever. Me and glass, we're not really friends so um, I like this plastic one plus you can literally just pull it out of the top and it's just nice and easy to use. So after I have put all of them in there, I'm just taking my disinfecting liquid. Not gonna lie guys, I could not find barbicide. I don't know whether there's a shortage of, of barbicide because of COVID, but I just found this one, which is closest to barbicide, which I've been using. And um, I use four caps of those, like four lid fulls. Um, check whatever one you use, they have measurements to properly dilute it. So I just followed the measurements on the bottle and then I add some clean water in there and then once I have done that I will then pick up the container that I put the tools in place that in there and then once you close the lid they'll be fully um, submerged in the disinfection solution and here I'm just showing you guys what it looks like and I'll leave that on for 10 minutes and then come back and rinse them So guys here I'm just rinsing the tools and I'm just rinsing them with that same um, warm water from the tap just to make sure that I've got off all the disinfectant um, solution off them. Um, guys I left these for longer than 10 minutes don't do that because um, it can cause your implements to rust and I'll show you at the end the little bit of rusting that I got on my nail clippers. So make sure it's 10 minutes set a timer because you don't want your implements to rust. Otherwise, after a while, you're just gonna have to chuck them in the bin due to the rusting. But I'm just going through and then individually rinsing them and making sure that the disinfectant solution is off the implements. And then once I do that, I will literally just re-dry them and I'll show you guys how I sort out my implements ready for the next client.
so guys what i have are these self seal um sanitation pouches and once i have disinfected my tools and dried them i will go ahead and place a um, cuticle pusher a nail clipper and a mandrel bit inside the pouches and seal them i use these per client so for every client i take one out a maximum clients i have a day now that i have uni is three so i go ahead and make three of these pouches i use a new mandrel bit as well as a new cuticle pusher and nail clipper per client just to be um extra sanitary and um just extra safe so that's what i do um as well as like changing the mandrel bits i change the sanding band on each of the mandrel bits so um if you guys want to take the idea that's good to make sure that um everything is nice and clean and sanitary per client so i just like to use this method because it's just easy per client like when i have a new client i just pull it out um so i know that everything in there is just clean and ready for use and then once i'm done with the implements i have a dirty implement tray um my nail room tour thingy mobile video is coming out soon so you guys will see like how i organize my stuff and um yeah so that's basically what i'm gonna do and then the last pouch i make is like a soak off one so i put my nippers just in case i have to nip off any bling um and then my three extra coarse bit and i put something else in there but i can't remember but yeah the last pouch i make is for my soak off um procedures basically um i hope this video was informative for you um i'm gonna go ahead and show you the part where it has rusted a little bit so um you guys can know to keep it in for 10 minutes only hope you guys found this video very informative if you haven't already subscribe to my channel click the like button comment down any questions you have below press the notification bell so you never miss a video and bye